Hey guys, I'm Michael Neal here with Bass Resource and I want to talk to you about fishing a plastic worm from the bank and why it's a great option. And I'll just start with that as far as why it is a great option. You can catch bass on a plastic worm day or night, 365 days a year, anywhere you're at in the country as long as it's not iced over. So the way that I would recommend rigging it from the bank is just a Texas rig. I mean, it's very simple. It's very weedless. Uh, it's something that you don't have to carry a whole lot of extra tackle in your in your pack or in your bag that you're carrying around the bank. So just a Texas rig with some sort of lightweight. Uh, this is a seven inch big bite baby B2 worm with a three aught offset round bend gamakatsu hook. That's as simple as it can be for a Texas rig. That's all you really need. And it's just a bait that whatever you're fishing around you can throw it in. If it's grass, you can throw it through grass. If you've got rocks, it'll come through the rocks well. If it's wood and lay downs that you've got, it comes through that well as also. And if it's just open water, those fish are gonna see this, they're gonna feel it, they're gonna feel the commotion from that tail, and they're gonna come from it a little bit a ways away. They're gonna feel that with their lateral line. So again, it's just a great bait that you can throw anywhere. And one tip that I'll give you from, for bank fishing is something I used to do a lot. I used to fish a lot of ponds, a lot of farm ponds, and that was a bait that I threw a whole lot. I love throwing top water, but when I really wanted to catch a lot of fish, that's what I would rely on, just a seven inch ribbon tail worm. And you have to make sure you cover everything effectively from the bank. You see guys in a boat a lot of times, they're really burning down the bank. They got their trolling motor on high. They're trying to hit as many high percentage areas as they can in a day, but you don't really have that option from the bank. So I would recommend stopping in one spot and you're standing there and just imagine that you've got 180 degrees or you've got a clock. You've got a clock from nine o'clock to three o'clock all around you. So just start and just pick it apart like you're cutting a pie or each, you're trying to make every 30 minutes in, in that clock. And when you cover more water like that, you're gonna learn how everything on the bottom sets up. So you're gonna find some rock piles. You're gonna find a brush pile that's out there. You're gonna find a washed in log, or you're gonna find a shell bed or whatever it may be. And then you can remember where that cast is. And then you can go back to those spots and hit the sweet spots and rotate through them a little bit quicker. But a ribbon tail worm on a Texas rig is something that you can take anywhere in the country, farm ponds to the Great Lakes and catch a lot of bass on them. Make sure and check out these tips and hopefully you'll catch more fish from the bank on a plastic worm.